I quite literally ripped out each and every one of my eyelash extensions right before I filmed this video, so bear with me. Um, if you say anything about my appearance, you're racist and homophobic, it's Pride Month, watch a man's, you should watch your mouth. Hello, welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, y'all. Today we are diving into the downfall of one of my favorite creators. When I saw this happen right before my eyes, I literally fell to my knees and did the I was internally conflicted Kendrick Lamar scream. Ah! I couldn't believe my eyes. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite creators, or ex-favorite creators, Fanita. So to really get things started off, damn, really? This all starts when Fanita, who's known for making relatively relatable content, decided to make a video talking about how white creators are basically being paid more than black creators. White girls, I'm tired of y'all always trying to play victim. Now come to the podium and let me talk to you. I do social media for a living. I have a manager. My manager has clients on her roster. My manager has white and black clients on her roster. Who do you think is paid less, has more followers, better engagement, and can actually sell products than her white clients? Yes, that's me, top dog. I'm on Asia's roster and I get paid less than her white clients that I have more followers and better engagement than. A lot of black women on this app, a lot of black people on this app, a lot of black creators get shit on. When have you ever seen us in the Forbes list? We gotta have a hundred million triple dipper trillion dillion followers to get somewhere i've been doing social media for four years i have 190 million likes and only 2 million followers white girls do not play with me like that i'm not trying to read y'all y'all always want to be a victim when you're not you're the beauty standard you get paid more you do not experience anything that black and brown women experience I'm getting f***ed over every day. I have to have a personality. I also have to be respectable. I have to be pretty. I have to be put together to get a fraction of the money the white girls get. And I'm going to talk about it. I don't hate you hoes. My best friend is white. Oop, gag it. Emily, Harley, gag on it. White as f Alabama white. So don't ever think I'm hating on white girls to hate on y'all because y'all white. Y'all just annoy me. That's it. I don't have to hate on Look at me and look at where I live and look what I just bought. Please get it together and stop talking about me in these bags. My friends deserve everything in the world and I'm gonna give them to them. It is not my fault y'all friends don't give a funky about y'all. <laughs> and would never buy spits to put you out if you was on fire, ho. Since I woke up to tea about the pay gaps and the pay disparities among black creators and white creators, let me add on to it because I didn't really even say what I wanted to say. You saying y'all made me coming back because some of y'all is pocket watching me too hard. Look at the robe. Pockets is flush. Asia does what she needs to fucking do. I gets to the back. I gets to the manyan. We're already six figures in and it's only May. <laughs> well over. Not too much. Get out my pockets. And that's doing what we can do even though they roll blocking us. Now, I'm gonna have to call out a few creators so y'all can really, y'all can really understand what the f I'm talking about. Cause ain't no, ain't, ain't no other big, big creators gonna put a name on it. But I'm sorry, girl, I gotta whack you. I'm not trying to read you, but Alex Earl, come to the podium. Alex Earl has the luxury of being able to have white privilege. Imagine a black girl comes online and says she has a dress with throw up in it. She's nasty as Look at how y'all talk about E. Kane. E. Kane and Alex Earl are, are twins, twin flames. But what is Alex and what is E. Kane? What, what, is, what is Alex and what is me? Me and Alex engage me pretty much the same. And I'm more entertaining and I have a podcast and, 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 and I'm funny. Alex is funny to white people or is she even funny? And this is, not, this is not a drag, Alex. I'm not trying to drag you. I'm just keeping it real. Because if you could get 50K for a brand deal, we both know I deserve it. 60K, 70K, 80K. You know what I'm saying? I'm having to settle right now for my little funky. 20 but i want what you white hoes get and i want it i want it to i want it today asap not tomorrow prada i spent six thousand in your store i better be receiving some gifting like y'all do every other white hoe that don't purchase shit. 
from y'all. I need a small bottle of perfume or something for France, if you don't mind. You know what I'm saying? It's hard having to be the one to talk the shit all the time and, 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 and say the quiet parts out loud while somebody's got to do it. And now that I have my new titties, I will be more than willing. Alex, girl, I'm not trying to drag you. That's not even a read. It's not your fault that you're white. Opportunities come come better to white people and that's just how the country was built. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's systemic. I'm not hating that you get, I'm not hating that you get to the money, young girl. I'm just saying I need it fair across the board or I'm gonna start being mediocre like you white hoes. <laughs> Because if I take away popular sounds, half you hoes ain't got a f count. Don't let me wake it up. And I'm not trying to be rude and I'm not trying to be nasty. And if you think I am, then dance your way into my DMs and let's tussle if you feel hit. Period. And we all know that I'm the baddest. Gag it. And as expected, the internet did not take too kindly to her comments. Even me, as someone who's a fan of Fininja, watched that shit and I said, right message, just wrong delivery. That's all I can really say. Now, a lot of people didn't really take too kindly to this response due to the fact that a couple months ago, um, a black creator by the name of Brea Jones was invited on a Tarte brand trip. Now, as a black woman who, you know, started off as a black girl, teenager, growing up, watching, you know, some of my favorite YouTubers, specifically Jackie Ina, Too Much Mouth, Naima Tang, um, all of those amazing dark skin creators, um, I've always kind of known that Tarte was a little finicky when it came to us darkies. Fanita then decided to go on this brand trip with Tarte after Bria came out. Now, I am not going to dive too much on the Bria situation. I have investigated. From my understanding, this all just came down to a misunderstanding on both Bria and Tarte's point, so I'm not going to villainize anybody. But Fanita basically came out and defended herself by saying this i didn't feel i didn't feel weird being invited last well also like y'all i'm an influencer a lot of shit happens last minute so like me being invited last minute i didn't really think too much into this because a lot of shit happens last minute if bria misspoke about a situation what does that have to do with me what does it have to do with me that has absolutely nothing to do with me she jumped the gun on a situation that she didn't even ask about she didn't ask anybody about what was said on the email before she she made the video and that's why she took it down deactivated her account she threw the rock and hit her hand and now all of us are faking backslash just for being here why didn't i help her do what i didn't know her <laughs> like what what are y'all actually talking about y'all being serious what, what what would i help her do i don't know her yeah people are just gonna find anything to be mad at and this is one of those things the thing is people are like why are you on here talking about it because y'all made it my problem i didn't say I just showed y'all a hotel room. I think it just comes out that people just been wanting to see me fall. Like, people just been wanting to find a reason to hate me. But there's literally no reason to hate me because this situation has absolutely nothing to do with me at all. Like, I didn't even know that conversation was had. I just came on the trip. No, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I kind of agreed with Fanita a little bit. Let's say, for instance, you are someone who came from nothing, and if you had the opportunity to go on a brand trip with a makeup brand, and it was an all-paid-for brand trip, you just had to be there, you would probably go too. Here's my thing. I don't think that y'all realize, I don't think that Fanita has ever had an issue with being a token black woman. I feel like growing up as the token, you kind of become desensitized to that. So I don't think that she really cared to be a token, right? Okay. Hey guys, Editing Kai here. I was popping in real quick because I never added in why I was adding all that context. I was adding in all that context because basically a lot of the viewers were like, why the fuck should we care about you not getting paid as much when Bria was coming up on the internet telling people about her experience, you didn't give a fuck. I realized that I never explained why I just jumped into the next segment, but that's a little bit of context for it, okay? Bye. Ah! So now on to Machiavelli. Now this is also something I watched happening in real time and I was so confused. Those of you who don't know the creator Machiavelli, she is most popular for just making a bunch of TikToks that make me fucking laugh. She also is actually one of the intros to my Drea video. But she made this video about how some people just aren't meant 
to be skinny. More context I forgot to add. She was making that video as someone who used to be super itty bitty to now who's thicker and also has a weight loss business. So old girl know what she talking about. I digress. And that's okay. But with that being said, a whole bunch of people started tagging Fanita in the comments, and Fanita did not take too kindly to this. Always have, and I always will, and I've never forgotten about anybody that's talked about me. And y'all, if, if there's somebody I've forgotten about that's talked about me or made a video about me, any of these light-skinned, biracial, ugly, that you can't even tell is black, making 50 videos about me, tag them. So I, I can make sure I have the lineup of all my enemies, and I can start taking them out one by one. Now what Machiavelli said, she did not call Fanita out personally, but I've heard a lot of people have and hold that same sentiment so i guess people felt like a hit dog will holler and i guess they were hollering this is awkward because it's not a headshot if you didn't say my name if you got to get in the comments and let motherfuckers hype you up it's not a headshot baby it's not a headshot baby <laughs> it's not a headshot baby <laughs> Wait, we keep having to pause. This Sabrina's getting way too Sacramento, way too actually invested. Like, this is not the internet. That's the thing. I don't have no feelings towards you, Fanita, because I don't know you. This is... Headshot! <laughs> I don't think enough about you to have a real, a real emotional attachment to my feelings towards you. Uh, there are a few occasions where I have spoke up about you. First being the tart situation, I was on your side. I actually, if you go back and look, said, she's young, I don't know, you know, don't jump her. You know, yeah, it was a mistake, but mm, y'all doing too much. And I said that for, in real life, because we was in Mexico at the time. <laughs> it, well, we'd be on vacation in real life, enjoying shit in real life, <laughs> you feel me? Um, the second don't, time- don't need a brand trip. <laughs> <laughs> the second time was with the Raven shit and her, and her cuck daddy over there um i assume you know them your besties you don't want to fuck the disney checkup I, and i said i wasn't on no beef with that i don't, I don't get no ways about that the third time was when i got on here and said not everyone's meant to be thin i'm not gonna assume you're familiar with my actual business how i make my actual money because this tiktok shit is fun for me i have a medical spa and we sell weight loss products i do consultations i myself was 100 pounds heavier at one point in time and i was 50 pounds lighter than i am now I was talking about my clients and what I do and not everybody's meant to be thin. That was not about nobody in particular. I used myself as an example. I said, my auntie told me I look like a crackhead. That was not no, at, at no, nobody. People were adding you and saying your name in the comments. And since I see you clocked in with my videos and you can't wait to see, you will notice I didn't engage with any of them because that was not the purpose of that video. And that was not my intention to make people say that at all. You're angry and you're spiraling, baby. You've been spiraling, yelling on this app for days. It's giving coke. <laughs> the pupils are dilated. I really do wish you the best on all your endeavors. I hope you make all your money. I hope you make as much as Alex and all the white bitches in the world, girl. But you gonna have to get that chip off your motherfucking shoulder before you do so. Now, all that brings us to today, which those of you who aren't aware, but Fanita ended up having gastric bypass surgery which old girl looks good but when she started losing weight people started saying that she was acting like a mean girl to which she started playing into this messiness right after she broke up with her boyfriend she bought a prada bag for her and her best friend and then she started like shitting on people everybody broke needs to go to mime school i'm in my living room you're in the projects it all kind of started with that video of her saying that she doesn't think that everyone is attractive. What is it your hot take? This is going to sound really mean, but I promise I'm not a mean girl, even though some people think I am. I don't think everyone's beautiful. Listen. I don't. Wait, I, tell me. And why. I think we need to stop lying. I think, I think we need to stop. Like, some people are ugly and that's fine. Like, some people are and that's okay. Like, not everybody's meant to be, like, attractive. Like, some people aren't aesthetically pleasing to look at. And that's just a fact. And I'm sorry. I'm tired of, like, everyone's beautiful. Like, I think everybody's beautiful on the inside or has the potential to be beautiful on the out, like, on the inside. But I feel like not everyone's beautiful on the outside. And I'll die on this hill. <laughs> 
which I hate to say, y'all, the hope I don't sound ridiculous, I agreed with her. In fact, if anything, a lot of people said, oh, well, it's all about beauty on the inside and it's all about the I Well, I don't believe in that. What if I told y'all I don't believe in that? As a dark-skinned black woman who, and I hope I'm not taking a page out for this book, but as someone who's been called ugly my entire life, at 21 years old, I've had to accept that I'm just not gonna be cute to everybody and you know what that is okay because I attract the people who I attract because I'm definitely fine I get told I'm fine every single day of my life so I know I'm definitely cute to somebody it might just not be to you and y'all know what looks are subjective or is it objective I'm pretty sure it's subjective with all that being said, people were actually really outraged by this clip. I did not feel like she was wrong for saying that. And some people will feel like they were like, oh, right message, wrong messenger. Really? Because I feel like if anybody's the right messenger for that message, it should be someone who is not perceived to be conventionally attractive and hasn't been perceived to be conventionally attractive for most of their life to say hey some people just aren't cute but people perceive her to be a mean girl when i just perceive that to be real as fuck sue me i'm not going to lie to y'all i saw this criticism be brought up by a creator and also i kind of see a parallel to this after um i hope this don't sound fucked up or like people don't try and get on my ass for this but i watched the south park Olympic special in cartman's dream he often you know is essentially a dickhead and is an asshole but he thinks that now because he's skinny that there's nothing else to talk about him despite the fact that he is literally a sadistic psychopath who is insane and should definitely be put so far underneath the jail like i'm not even joking but with that being said that is something that i've seen a lot of people make criticisms to when it comes to finita i've even heard finita say y'all can't say nothing now because i'm not fat anymore good morning i'm pretty as first off to wake up y'all let's have a long conversation and i promise y'all this is my last video talking about it but i want to get everything on the table some of y'all acting like oh my god i've never seen finita act like this she's using x, x, x y and z's mannerisms she's acting like them no ma'am no ham no turkey this is how i've always acted here's the thing though i'm gonna give y'all some nuances and some intersectionalities about in life when you're a fat dark skinned black girl with a loud mouth and confidence on the internet people hate you because of what you look like not because of what you say and when I was on the internet, when I was fat, y'all believe me relentless. I was a big body, nasty, white, fat, ugly, fat, huh? So don't act like all this anger is coming out of nowhere, but I'm a smart, right? I knew that I could never say this that I wanted to say to y'all. That's why I never, ever addressed it. And maybe that's why y'all thought I was a pussy. Because when I was in real life, I would crack skulls. I would fight that talked about me, right? But I want to be rich, famous. I want to get to money on. So I'm like, I can't be an angry fat. That's the worst ones. So I got to be a funny fat. Let me make a joke here and there. Brand deal here and there. Hmm, another brand deal. Okay, let me move to LA, right? And here's, the, here's another thing. Y'all think everybody on the internet is fake. I'm not one of them. I'm real raw and authentic, huh? When I go to writer's rooms, when I'm invited to record labels and CEO boards, I talk just like this in front of them and they know me and they love Sunita. I never have to change my cadence. I always talk like this you just didn't hear me because i was fat oh yes i was fat as and y'all couldn't hear me y'all couldn't see me but now look at me you ain't got no choice but to see me now so y'all would not rewrite history y'all would no longer say that i was insecure i was still in a little any teeny winty yellow polka dot bikini when i was 325 pounds don't play with me i was still in a crop top if i could find it in my size was never scared the body was tea pretty fat girl right and y'all must forgot about how y'all treated her y'all called me ugly for three months straight because i said some people were ugly i didn't even say i didn't even say anybody's name y'all harassed me for three months straight because i needed a retwist anti-black and because i was still big in that video I'm 165 pounds soaking wet now. Skin is clear. Face is tea and so is the body and I just got it done to add the enhancements, right? So you can't talk about me anymore. So now I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Call me Gordon Ramsay. I'm exactly who I think I am. I've earned the right to talk to like this and I need y'all to know going into Finita's next era, either you in the comments, yay Finita, we love you, or I'm gonna pick a profile picture and get to reading you. Now leave me the alone. You guys have gotten away with talking about me for years. I'm not crashing out. I'm just getting everything off my chest for four years because now I have absolutely nothing to you, nothing to lose. These brands are how I talk so I can talk to you funky however I deem fit. Um, no! You're actually, now you're even more unlikable than you were before. You see, the issue here is that Fanina thinks that now because that she is skinny, that she is obligated to talk to people like shit. A lot of people that do not practice self-love when it comes to weight loss journeys, they be the main people that be talking about some, oh yeah, I'm gonna make everybody pay. When I lose this weight, everybody's gonna be so mad about how they treated me and da-da-da-da. You have the ability to make a 60 second fucking video and make bands. You've lost weight. 
you having a successful podcast show with big names on there and you don't think that's enough revenge? You don't think how far you've come in life right now is enough revenge. And I'm just saying this as a plus size creator, my damn self. Like, I've had so many moments, probably on this video too, where people gonna be up in the comments like, oh yeah, you're a big back this, you're a big back that, you're a fat ass bitch, da 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 da. Like, I've had so many people say so much shit to me, and at the end of the day, guess what? I still wake up, go get my nails done, put my lip gloss on do my hair because bitch at the end of the day it don't matter what the fuck you say when you really love yourself can't now bitch tell you you ain't the baddest bitch walking it's so much shit and then it's like you got the tart situation y'all mad that people bringing up the tart situation that is literally so relevant to what's going on right now your first post was talking about how you don't get paid as much as white influencers that is the exact thing that that girl was saying when she went on that fucking tart trip y'all just be liking to act dense as fuck she literally told y'all we're not getting the same rooming we're not getting the opportunities hell shit they not even letting us stay the whole time and you took the opportunity with tart and then you got on here and you was like oh yeah fuck y'all y'all just mad y'all just jealous of me that da, da, da. i get to stay in a four by four cubicle like y'all are mad at me like bitch just for a year later for you to come on here and call out somebody that wasn't even bothering you like you and alex earl don't even make the same fucking content you're known for being funny she's known for doing get ready with me's and vlogging her life people all up in her comments talking about you and she at a bar behind the fucking counter making drinks with folks while they videoing her like oh my god it's alex earl it's alex earl like y'all are not even doing the same thing it would have made more sense for you to call out somebody that maybe was doing the same shit as you the way that you're acting now has a lot to do with the way that you think about yourself personally has a lot to do with the way that you think about yourself as a black person and it also has a lot to do with the people that are around you i'm not gonna say you don't even have good friends but damn like i was just on here like a month or two ago defending you because one of your own friends got on the podcast and made a fucking black joke about you he felt so comfortable to get on a podcast knowing that it was gonna be seen by millions of people and still made a fuck ass joke about your color not seeing you in the dark but these are the people that you surround yourself with and you wonder why you get on here acting like this because if you barely like you the people around you probably barely like you what what do you think that that's gonna do to your with all this to be said just for her to end up following up by begging for money on beyonce's internet you want some man takes in my DMs. Y'all are like, Fanita, but you called us broke. Now you want here begging us to cash up you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Why are you arguing semantics? I'm absolutely begging. I'm absolutely begging for change. Yes, I am. Because I can't work for free on Twitch. Sorry. That takes a lot. I need you to can pay me some money um also this is just a life lesson that anything can happen even the people that are on top that rule the world can 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 walk among civilians again and i'm walking among civilians again i quit tiktok and to twitch stream so i'm sorry but you hoes gonna have to pay me right if i'm gonna be talking to entertain y'all for hours on end y'all gonna have to throw some money and make me and make my ass shape like a guy stripper at tussies and i'm not playing so it's cash out for to leg it and stop playing with me ends up asking me questions yes i'm begging and yes i'm begging for money after i called y'all broke now what about it send me some money or shut the f up by this point i'm kind of tired y'all of talking about fanita as i'm recording this video right now ek has just talked about dark-skinned women and now everybody talking about oh now you gotta make another video because um ek is colorist so y'all i'm tired of talking about fanita but if you want um a breakdown of her response this is what her response was basically my uncle died and now i'm sad hell take it away for neither here's my thing y'all i don't care about what people are saying about me and i'm gonna let y'all in on some of the things that have been going on the last month and a half of my life and i mean actually not even the last month and a half the last month it's been a month that all these things are occurred uh first i want to start off by saying that my uncle literally died in april the only father figure i had died in april and my family has been struggling so bad and i couldn't even grieve my uncle's passing when it was happening because everybody was mad at raven and raven miranda and mad at me about a podcast club then after i had to go spend just I, and the thing is i'm busy so i can only spend three days with my family before i have to come back to la and work because i work hard for my family so i can provide because my family's not well off you know like nobody in my family's rich i'm not rich but i still take care of my family i take care of all my nephews i take care of my cousins i take care of my aunt and my aunt really like needs me right now then i had to go get a life changing surgery i had to go get a tummy tuck i had to go get a boob job y'all i just got back from miami last week i've only been home for a week and a half and i'm still in recovery i'm still swollen and everybody's making big pieces about my body that is fresh like literally i'm, I'm fresh off the table i've just started sleeping again like last night was the first time i slept for nine hours in three weeks and it's not because i wasn't sleeping because of pain meds whatever i haven't taken my pain meds since may 15th after i got back from miami i'm not taking, taking a single pain medication because i don't want to get addicted to opioids i haven't taken Tylenol. i haven't taken any of the coding that i prescribed i still have 22 coding pills left then i broke up with my boyfriend i was in a toxic relationship for the last three months hi uh, 
I don't really like being vulnerable and telling y'all my business, but for the sake of everything, I, I'm here to talk. I'm not here to give an apology to my haters though. Y'all gonna have to keep waiting. But what I will do is apologize to my poor that f with me. Hey y'all, listen, I grew up poor. There are many days where I didn't have anything to eat but tears. There are many days where I, I slept on the ground, slept on the floor, didn't have a blanket, didn't have a comforter. You know what I mean? I had to, my friends had to buy my school lunch. I would eat food out the trash like a raccoon, like a rabbit, like an animal, you know, just so I could eat food in general. I never had nice clothes. I was never allowed to buy nice clothes. When I played basketball, I had to wear like my older teammates hand-me-downs. So I don't want y'all to think I'm gonna lead this because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, guys. I'm not this evil, wicked, sinister bully that everybody wants me to be. But I want y'all to know that I love my supporters. And this week, I let my anger get the best of me, y'all. Like, I've been angry for like four years, man. Rightfully so. I don't feel bad about being angry. I feel bad about reacting the way that y'all always wanted me to react. I reacted in a way that, that people have been praying for me to react. They don't want to see me happy-go-lucky and having fun and buying my friends Prada bags and taking them on trips. They don't care about none of that. They I don't care about that they care about the negativity and they care about making me angry and making me mad you know the things that i'm saying about the pay gap or about fat phobia or about colorism or about texturism isn't something that has been said jackie Ina has been talking about this when i was in high school you know, plenty of fat women have been talking about this for years, but y'all didn't want to listen to them because they're fat. When we're fat, we're not heard. So I thought I was doing the right thing by being the reader and coming on here to, to defend fat people and, and defend myself and finally unleash the hell that I've been receiving for four years. And that's not what I should have done. That's not who I am. Like all my friends are like, Nita, this isn't you. Like you're sweet. You're not, you're not like this. You're not evil. You're not mean. And I'm, and I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for letting them get me out of character. I'm apologizing to my supporters. I'm sorry for letting them get me out of character and I hope that y'all can accept my apology because y'all are the only people's opinions I care about in my videos I say I care about my friends and my family but I also care about the people who genuinely love me I just started twitch streaming you know what I'm saying so if you want to come watch me on twitch I'll be over there a lot going live talking my twitch and youtube is Fanita the baddest and uh I can't wait to cultivate a new audience on twitch and and have new friends on twitch and and really just pick up again because you know what I'm saying y'all I'm taking over the world we know it and we know that's why they're mad we, we know they're mad because I'm taking over the world and I'm gonna be the star that they never want to see happen but nobody can deter me from my goals but I'm sorry guys and I, I really do love all my poor girls I love all my poor girls all my fat girls all my gay all my gay girls all my gay boys all my non-binary people all my trans people I love all my unhoused people I love all my people that are unfortunate. I love all the people of, of Gaza, Congo, Sudan, and Haiti. I love everybody. I am a philanthropist. And even I even love some of you white girls. I did not call y'all white hoes for the first time in a week. But I do love some of y'all white girls. I just have had a lot of bad experiences with white people. And so that's why it's triggering when white people talk to me crazy. But just know I'm not, you know what I'm saying, an uh, ex-grand wizard against white people. I, I, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not a Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I might be sometimes. Sometimes I am really passionate about the things I believe in. But for the most part, I really am just a real trill, chill ass and I'm sorry for letting them get me out of character, guys. I love you guys so much. I really do. And I hope y'all continue to support me. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch. Like they should.